hello guys welcome to a new video um, and we are moving on so in this video we are going to go over section still section 2.0 but we're going to go over 2.2 which is triple a concepts and what we're going to describe is 2.2 a describe radius and tachas plus technologies so we're going to go over that powerpoint and then after that i'm going to do another video where i'm going to be configuring administrative access on a Cisco router using TACAS and we're going to use that using IT Pro TV Labs um, which are really good guys if you guys uh, want to go, go ahead and take a look I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can take a look at that so let's go and start with the PowerPoint first okay so um, 2.8 concepts um, we're going to learn about radios and TACAS but the only one that we need to learn for that we need to learn to configure is TACAS Plus for the CCNA security exam, but you need to know about both of them. Um, what the first thing that we need to know is what AAA like stands for. What well, stands for um, authentication, authorization, and accounting, and it's a term for a framework for intelligently controlling access to computer resources, enforcing policies, and auditing usage and providing the information necessary to build for services as well. These combined processes are considered important for effective network management and security. And this is what authentication does. Um, it identifies a user before access is allowed. So that's what this is. So this is um, authentication comes to be uh, from the CIA. It comes to be um, confidentiality, which is confidentiality you can provide confidentiality with authentication, right? With a username and password. Um, and then authorization. Um, authorization will be when you have um, data integrity. Um, if you have a describe what a user is allowed to perform, I think this is not more, this is not really data integrity. This is this. This goes more into confidentiality as well, um, because it actually just describes what a user is allowed to perform. Um, so if we have that, it's probably yeah, confidentiality sounds a lot better. Um, so this is what you can do with authorization. You can allow what a user is allowed to do, like what commands um, the user is allowed to perform in a router and all that. And then accounting stands for just tracking the services and amount of resources. So it basically like the logs of the um, commands that you're putting into, how many times you're logging in, logging out, and who was the last time that was on the router and stuff like that. So how can you implement AAA? Well, you can implement AAA services with TACAS Plus, which stands for Terminal Access Controller Access Control System Plus. So it stands for TACAS Plus stands for Terminal Access Controller Access Control System Plus. Really nice. Um, <laughs> and this Terminal Access Controller Access Control System Plus is a protocol developed by Cisco and released as an open standard beginning in 1993. So I believe it is still an, an open standard, but in the CCNS security, you need to remember that it is um, it was developed by Cisco. Okay. So although it comes from TACAS, um, TACAS Plus is a separate protocol that handles authentication, authorization, and accounting services. And TACAS, you can configure TACAS with only using authentication, or only using authorization, or only using accounting. So there are three different, um, kind of like different protocols that, ta that TACAS runs. And TACAS and other flexible AAA protocols have largely replaced their um, old, old ones, basically. Okay, so let's move on, um, describing more of TACAS and how TACAS works. Well, it uses um, TCP port 49, protects all communication, so all communication is encrypted. It is owned by Cisco. It is a full app, right, so it consumes a lot more CPU um, than radius. It supports all 15 privilege levels, so you can have either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and all the way to 15, whatever you want to give access to. And they're using more for device access for admins. And this is how it actually works. Um, only authentication traffic is allowed on, until authentication is validated. So you're on your computer and you say, let me in. So you're telling 
the um, router to let you in. And the router is going to ask you, well, what is your username and password? You send your username and password, and then the router over here that is configured with Tagus is going to reach out to the server like, hey, is this right? And then the, um, ser the Tagus server says, yeah, it matches. You may enter. Boom. And then it gives you access to the router. So this is basically how um, how it works. We have a, a user over here, and then we have an authenticator, which is a router. And then it, we have the authentication server, which is a TACAS over here. And I stole this picture from IT Pro TV. Hopefully, they don't get mad at me, but they're cool people. They like me, I think. <laughs> Let's go. Moving up. So we're going to the sky radius. Radius is almost the same as um, TACAS, but it uses, it uses UDP. It protects password only. It doesn't protect all the traffic like TACAS does. It is an open standard. It was now developed by Cisco. And it also a lightweight and consumes less CPU um, than TACX. It only provides um, privilege mode, so all or nothing. So you can give either all the privilege or no privilege at all. And it's mostly used for network access for um, users. That's what it's radius is um, known for. And here's the difference between radius and TACX plus. Um, as you can see right here, TACAS uses TCP port 49, Various uses UDP, so that means if you lose some package on the way, um, it, it won't retransmit, but TCP will retransmit with TACAS. Um, Radius protects only the password, and TACAS um, encrypts the entire um, communication, so data integrity is a lot better with TACAS than Radius. Um, Radius provides authentication and authorization and it's all combined in one so you need to have all of them or nothing TACAS um, treats each one of them separately so you can configure either authorization or authentication whatever you want to configure um, this is an open standard this is a Cisco owned by Cisco but I believe it's also an open standard now but for the CCNA security exam you need to know that it is um, owned by Cisco um, the usage, this is radius is more lightweight. Um, TACAS is consumes a lot more CPU usage. Um, radius is only privilege mode, so it means that all the privilege or no privilege. TACAS supports uh, all 15 privilege. This this is because it is um, a Cisco on um, server. That's probably why a protocol, if you want to say that, uh, and that's why it supports. Of the privilege um, right and radius does not and the usage like I said before um, radius is used for network access for users and TACAS is more for devices access for admins and now on the next video we are going to um, what we're going to do is we're going to configure TACAS and here's the configuration that I'm going to be doing so if you guys want to go ahead and watch my other video where I configure um, TACAS on a Cisco router and we are going to use it or we are going to configure this on IT Pro TV Labs and make sure to go ahead and watch my video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.